Vanjie Kayanan can't stop crying as she thinks about her and her little girl being forced to leave Canada on July 11th. I'm asking for all the support to stay here because Makena belongs here, I belong here, we belong here, this is her home. She's been living in Canada since 2010. Her daughter McKenna was born here in 2015, the same year Kayanan became an undocumented migrant. And her mom came here legally under the temporary foreign worker program. She was abused by her employer and it's abused by a system that has abused many people and throws people away back to their home countries just to bring in a new batch of people to do the same job. Supporters say the family's case is unique because McKenna was born in Canada and has special needs. The six-year-old was recently diagnosed with ADHD and oppositional defiant disorder. They fear deportation to the Philippines would be detrimental to her well-being. In an impoverished learning environment without the resources, I don't believe that those special needs can be met. They also argue Kayanan has been a valuable asset to the community. Despite her status, she advocated for children of migrants to have basic rights and won. Every child born in Canada can actually access health care now because of her work. She also helped deliver care packages to undocumented people in the pandemic. We should strive to keep uh, these type of wonderful people in every community because these are the people who contribute positively to the com community always. The family's lawyer is appealing the deportation order based on humanitarian and compassionate grounds, but that could take three years. So Migrante Canada launched a petition to allow the family to stay. They want to present it to the Minister of Immigration. It already has more than 2,100 signatures. No worker should ever feel like this. No human should ever feel like this. No child should ever, ever be part of this process. Sarah Ryan, Global News.